How do you think Nick Fury would react to this type of reception? Um, you know, Comic Con is is phenomenal. It's 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 totally amazing. It's like every year, I've been coming here since like Episode One, of Star Wars. Um, so seems like every year I come here and it validates the fact that I belong and I, I get all this energy and love from everybody that makes me feel like going out and making movies for the rest of the year. Uh, and we, make, we, we make movies because we want to entertain you guys and I make movies because I want to see myself in them. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is the perfect combination for me. All this love and it just energizes me. And I can't wait to come back next year with the next movie. Excellent. Congratulations on the success of Winter Soldier. Yes. yes. Do you feel like? Do you feel like at this point that Steve, that Cap is like fitting? Does he feel more acclimated to this world yet, or does he still feel a little isolated? Well, no, I think he's getting there. I think we're past. You know, he's not just you know amazed at cell phones and the internet. I mean, I, I think he's <laughs> he's up to speed, but I think he's still looking for a place to belong. You know, he's he's for so long been uh, a servant. You know, he fits in uh, as as a soldier. You know, he's used to kind of this uh, chain of command, and since Shield kind of fell apart in the last movie, it's it's more about this group of people depending upon each other without kind of a clear leader, and I think he's searching for, you know, home. How has it felt coming into this established world with all these people who've been working together as, as kind of as the new guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's pretty overwhelming um, and, and uh, surreal, and, uh, you know, I was flattered to, you know, that Joss and the Marvel guys approached me for this, and, you know, don't hesitate, you know, it's... Uh, Huge, you know, it's, it's incredible to be a part of this gang and um, great actors and, uh, you know, you, you, was follow it, up, you follow up, you know. Was there anything about doing a superhero film that you never envisioned before? Like, what, what's different about it than other stuff that you've done? What, The Avengers? Yeah. I think, you know, I mean, you know, it's just the, the characters, you have such a dynamic between, you know, the group. And I think, you know, what Joss did with the first one was... Uh, it seemed like a, a mission completely impossible to do, um, but everyone had their moment and stood out. And you know, what's beautiful is you get these kind of characters in the same room and they bounce off of each other. You know, there's banter and humor, and it's uh, and uh, and he has that tone where it can be have a journey and and, and be emotional and sad at moments and and uh, and you know, lighthearted and action packed. You know, it's you know, I I I. I thoroughly enjoy all of the Marvel movies and, and, and was so excited to be a part of this one. Yeah. How's that experience been for you? Been, everybody's been incredibly welcoming and it's been, you know, it's the most, ex it's exciting for me, it's been the most exciting thing that's ever happened to my children. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get cool dad points for this? They simply had no interest in what I did until this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been cool. Is this your first Comic Con? I came last year to Comic-Con for a TV show I do called The Blacklist. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I just want to say something to all of you guys, is I have, <clears throat> I've always thought my whole life that life could never get weird or crazy enough for me. And <laughs> I got to tell you something. This place may be the weirdest, craziest <laughs> place I've ever been. <laughs> Congratulations. And, uh, it's because of all of you guys, and so I thank you for that, because it is really fantastically crazy here. I mean, just <laughs> nuts. Doing this film was so, everything, everything was so entirely new. Uh, the process in making it, playing this character, uh, all of the people, the world that I was entering, uh, even the world that these movies inhabit, not just in terms of story and place and people and so on, but also just the part of the movie business that these movies inhabit is entirely new to me. And uh, it was just... Unimagin unimaginably exciting. I mean, just unimaginably exciting. What has your experience been like coming into the group and 
being another, uh, the, the new gal? It's been awesome. I was first really intimidated by all of the people I was going to potentially work with. And then everyone was incredibly welcoming and it's just been so much fun. And it's, it's fun to bring a new element to the game. I don't know how you top Ultron bad guy wise. You know, the, the great thing about Marvel is they've always got the next thing up their sleeve. So, uh, well, you know, we've got Thanos. <laughs> Just Brolin! Where's my rose? We love you guys so much. We're so excited. Thanks for coming. We're going to keep trying to do our best for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Avengers Age of Ultron out in May of 2015. Please continue to stay on your feet. A huge round of applause for the entire cast of Age of Ultron and for Josh. Uh, 